Hi, I'm Tim at Slide Dynamic, and this is a tutorial, uh, really basically how to use the uh, the new uh, Slide Dynamic PowerPoint add-in feature for embedding multiple proses within your PowerPoint presentation. This works for PowerPoint 2007 and 2010, um, and this is the new feature, which is uh, version 2.9 of the Slide Dynamic add-in. There will be a link in the uh, description of this YouTube video where you can download and test it and try it for yourself. So um, I'm just going to give uh, a quick run through. Uh, this is just going to use three prezies but really there's no limit to how many prezies you could actually embed in different PowerPoint slides within your PowerPoint presentation. So to put this in context, um, I've just opened uh, Windows Explorer and I've created three prezies. One on prezi.com which I've downloaded as a portable prezi and two Prezi's uh, which I have created with Prezi's desktop application and exported as portable Prezi's and all three of those I have decompressed the .zip file so uh, to give you an example here's one if I just double click this folder you'll see this is my expanded Prezi file and if I double click on the Prezi.exe executable there's my Prezi. The content is less important, it's the concept here, so uh, this is what I could go and do and obviously go and present and what have you. Um, I've also uh, created two more Prezi's and put them in a subfolder. You could have your Prezi's located anywhere on your computer. So there's one, and there is the, the, the second in this folder, third in total. So that's, uh, that's some Prezi's that are randomly scattered about my uh, my folders and I've also created a PowerPoint presentation in its own folder so there's no content within that folder. So if I close Windows Explorer and come to my PowerPoint presentation you'll see here on the left um, I've just got three slides. Um, in order to embed a Prezi first of all you create your PowerPoint presentation, save it. And once you've done that um, you simply go to the slide dynamic tab on the PowerPoint ribbon menu or toolbar and you'll see all the icons shown across the top that perform various functions. Uh, this is version 2.9, there's some new features. I'm going to focus on embedding multiple Prezi but uh, there are two other types of Prezi you can embed. Um, an online Prezi, uh, there's a separate tutorial for that, pretty simple. And there's also a local offline Prezi uh, in a different format which offers greater integration. Again, I've done a separate tutorial for that also. So this focuses on this new button, which is inserting multiple Prezi. So in order to use this, you simply select the target slide you wish to embed your Prezi in. Click the insert multiple Prezi icon. And it gives you an instant view of the folders in your Windows Explorer on your computer. Yours will be different to mine, obviously. Um, and you'll see here, a uh, very simple button, select folder, which is grayed out. What you would do is you would navigate and look through your different folders until you find the one, in this case, this one, which is the Prezi I wish to embed first. And you'll see that the select folder button becomes active because the program has realized this is a Prezi. So it's saying that basically you can embed it if you wish to do so, and I do. So I simply select the select folder or click the select folder button and I get this rather unattractive black shape on the screen which for those who are interested is a web object. Um, this will represent my Prezi in show mode and it won't look like this. But this allows you to resize it and move it to a position where you're happy that's the shape and size of the Prezi you wish to embed. So that's my first one. Uh, I'm going to go to my third slide and follow the same process. In this case I'm going to go to this uh, folder where I embedded or copied two Prezi's. I'm going to go to the first one, select folder becomes active, click it and I can embed that one. Let me move that down to the bottom just to show it's different. And finally I'm going to go to the next slide and I'm going to follow the same process but in this case I'm going to select this third Prezi. But as I say there's no limit to the amount you could embed and I'll just leave that small there at the top. Right, so um, 
that's all done I could save close reopen it at any time and go into show mode press F5 in this case I'll just go to slideshow from beginning so my Prezi uh, my Prezi's are all loaded into the PowerPoint uh, slides this is my first slide I'd go through and present as you naturally would and when you come in this case to my first um, Prezi slide if you like um, You'll find it loads automatically, uh, there it is, it's working, uh, and I can interact with it, as you would any Prezi, um, go through, uh, I can zoom in, zoom out, I can obviously go to home and go and interact with it. Everything works, um, the only function that doesn't work is the full screen mode, um, but then if you want to go full screen you probably wouldn't be embedding it in PowerPoint and you'd just be running the Prezi viewer anyway. So that's my first Prezi. Um, if I go to my second Prezi sort of slide if you like, you'll see it's different content, different Prezi, it's all automatic. Um, and again, you can go and interact with it in whichever way you wish. Uh, and then I'm going to go to the final one. As I say, I put this at the top just to show. Uh, different content again. Um, and there it is. So this way you can go and embed different Prezi's in your PowerPoint. There's no fiddles, there's no files to transfer. You just locate them anywhere and embed them in your PowerPoint. So for 2007, 2010, this is the Slide Dynamic version 2.9 PowerPoint add-in and you can download it and demo it to your heart's content. Thanks very much.